इस ए एन एन न्यूज ब्रीफ Nurses in Malawi have embarked on a nationwide strike action. The health workers are complaining of poor working conditions, being overworked and lack of safety equipment to protect themselves against coronavirus. They are demanding that the government hire more health workers and increase their health insurance allowances. Malawi has confirmed 17 cases of COVID-19. The action by the nurses has further paralyzed operations in public hospitals as the country battles the spread of coronavirus. Last week, Health Minister Jape Mhango said several measures had been taken to deal with the strike, including recruiting thousands of new hospital staff. South Africa has intensified lockdown regulations in the coastal city of Durban and KwaZulu-Natal province to prevent the spread of coronavirus. KwaZulu-Natal province has been identified as a hotspot for locally transmitted cases after more than 600 infections were recorded there. 21 of the 52 coronavirus-related deaths were also recorded in the province. More than 50 health workers at private hospitals in the KwaZulu-Natal tested positive for coronavirus and three Durban hospitals remained temporarily closed after staff members were infected. South Africa has reported 3,158 COVID-19 cases, including 54 deaths. President Cyril Ramaphosa said the government was preparing for a probable surge in infections in the coming weeks and months. Ramaphosa said on Monday the government will increase welfare provision to help poor households suffering because of a nationwide lockdown that was enforced to contain the coronavirus outbreak. Meanwhile, the president has condemned the alleged food theft that was meant to cushion the poor from hunger during the coronavirus pandemic. He said the reports were disturbing and disgusting, adding that the individuals involved in the herding, selling or diverting of food aid will be dealt with harshly. Stay with us, we'll be right back. We are on the road every day, canvassing throughout Africa for news you really need. We follow this story everywhere, from every corner of Nigeria to the wide African expanse. We bring you what's making headlines. We connect you with news you can use. ANN, African News Network, in a truly African spirit. There has been different reactions in Ghana after the government announced easing lockdown order earlier imposed to limit spread of coronavirus in major cities and areas of the country. President Nana Akufo-Addo announced lifting a three-week restrictions on movement, making it the first African country to not extend but lift a lockdown. The president said the decision follows a better understanding of the natures of the virus, success in containing its spread and enhanced testing program, and the expansion of isolation and treatment centers. The president said there has been improvement on coronavirus testing across the country and urged citizens to wear face masks. Some say Ghana's president has taken a risky move considering that considering that the country has confirmed more than 1000 known cases of coronavirus. Meanwhile, low income earners such as street traders have welcomed the new plan saying they would have found it difficult to feed their families if the lockdown had continued. Health experts had been calling for the lockdown to be extended and even widened across the country. The official data shows the African continent is still the least affected by the coronavirus pandemic. Hopefully, it remains so. That is ANN news brief at 11. For details on these and other news uh, stories, visit our website, annafrica.news. Conversation continues on our social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at ANN Africa TV. I'm Lucy Adeyemi.